right, so we are here to talk log books and ELDs and all things violations here. We're at Fleet Tax Services in Beefville. So I have Randy and Vicki DeVos. Hello, guys. Same last name, maybe you say that once. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, when you're doing logs as a driver, uh, even though you got past the scales, you know, you fudged your hours, whatever, <laughs> and yeah. now you get back to the company, submit them, here's what happens to your logs. So first it comes to a company like Fleet Tax, and then Randy, you entered the logbook. So tell us what you do as far so as So the, the driver will bring his logs in, and then we have to put it into a computer system, which then shows us all the violations on what the driver has got on his logbooks. And then we have to go through all the violations to make sure it's correct. And it's more common logs like his signature or his hours weren't totaled or his duty status, as in he didn't put the state or he only did like 40 or even only used initials for it. Just little small things like that is the main violations. So that's what we call log form and matter where you forget your odometer, you don't sign your log. Things, yeah. The date's wrong. Or... Now what happens is, let's talk about someone doesn't sign your logs because that's basically saying, like what happens in a violation there because Huge. Huge. you have to sign you have your to, logs. You have to, yeah. Yeah, that's, so, that's so, a violation. So that's a, that's yeah. a big violation. Yeah. All right, so then, you uh, you guys audit the logs and you send it. Do you send it back to the carrier? Who who talks to the driver about what's wrong? Is it yourselves or is it the carrier themselves? They're all different. Yeah. Actually, half different the time, indeed. yeah, half the time we talk depends who the carrier is. We'll talk okay. to them. If it's one of the single drivers, they'll we'll talk to them. We'll go yeah. to them and go through it and explain so we can fix his mistakes and. Yeah. But if it's one of those carriers that have maybe 50 trucks, a larger, trucks, a larger one, then you probably send it back yeah. to a safety person. Yeah, that's right. Or if you have the small independent carriers, you know what I mean? They got one, two drivers or yeah. whatever. They'll come through, and we'll have drivers that will come through, and then we'll go through the audits with them and okay. sign up. But it all, everything always, the originals always go back to the home base. You okay. know what I mean? So in, and we've got the waiver in place, right. so that, you know, if we are doing an MTO audit or even if we're doing one of the mock audits, then we can get them to the place of business. Right, right. You know what I mean? But they all go through, you know, everything electronic is them with an email. Right? Okay. So now, and that's mostly paper logs, which in Canada we're still here on paper yeah. logs, right? Yeah. So you do a lot of the audit work, right? Yeah. So yeah. now we can keep them for six months. Yeah. And uh, so what do you see as far as, so the person's gotten away with it at the scale, whatever yeah. they've done. You yep. come back, they actually might just think it's legal. I'm not saying drivers are cheating because yep. yeah. <laughs> they're not a lot of times. They're just maybe misunderstanding, misunderstanding the rules, whatever they are. So, so, yeah, so they get back and they hand them in. Is it now done with the driver or what happens? Because they can have an audit and go back six months. So how does that work? So let's say they get through the scale. You know, you go through the scale, um, nothing's found. You know, your whatever receipt's been just misplaced. You don't have anything that way with the paper logs. And the same with the e logs. It's the right. same thing because you still have, like, I mean, as um, with Randy, we're, we're doing the receipt, we're doing the verification. Yeah. You know what I mean? So the audit comes through, and now all of a sudden, the, re the whether it be your easy pass is coming through, yeah. right? Because you're not going to have that easy pass at the skip, right. right? So now you've got your e log coming through, and you've got your easy pass. Well, they have to marry up. Yeah. And it's still, even though you have it, 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 it is the way it is, right. you know what I mean? Or, or if they don't marry up, then yeah, it is, you know, it's going to show the violation. It's going to show the violation. Or that's where you would enter in. So like then Bob, if it's not blended through, not all systems, it's like your regular phone, not all e-log systems are the same. You right. know, they're all, they all basically do the same thing, but they're totally different. Have you ever seen it where a receipt has come in and even though it's just been out like just by a minute like when i'm going through the border mm -hmm. as a driver i could cross the bridge yeah. i could mark my time down that i'm yeah. going through but then the, the uh time stamp comes back and it's yeah. five minutes out or whatever because i was waiting on the bridge have you ever seen it's, that being yeah if it's in within the 15 minutes then you let it fly but okay. within that time range yeah. but we usually see it sometimes you'll see it and you can see when they try to cheat logs that it actually was in the morning or then they're off duty, you're supposed to be on duty, yeah. or you're driving well, like you can't be driving while having a receipt, obviously. Mm -hmm. So we used to call that eating the receipts. Any of you yeah. guys who have been in the business the a while index. will understand uh, eating the receipts means it just went missing. I don't know where yeah. it went. Yeah. It just yeah. happened to go. Yeah. But it still comes back because a lot of these, uh, like the easy pass, yeah. the border 
Yeah. They usually the companies get kind of like a statement, like a credit card That's statement right. that right. shows all of it. So yeah. even if the receipt doesn't go back, and even if they don't catch that right away, a month later, whoever's doing exactly. that verification, yeah. that right. comes up, right? Because yeah. you know you're going to be paying free fuel. You're not going to get free fuel. Right. right. You know, and if your KPL and your fuel tax is very high, well, right away there's something missing at that end of it, right. which is going to reflect with the logs. You right. know what I mean? Um, and yeah, like I mean, so if a receipt, as you're verifying the receipts, as a right. empty, as we're doing like a mock audit, yeah. then we're going to go through and we're going to go right off the car block. Okay. You know what I mean? And then we're going to ask for, as well, the fuel receipts, which okay. are going to be with your fuel tax and mm -hmm. whatnot. But if they don't marry up, or the receipt, you've got a receipt and it occasionally is ripped off on the bottom, and that's yeah. odd, a lot of times. It's funny how that happened. I don't, I don't know, know why I, they put them at the bottom. I you know? tore it out of my wallet and it just tears it's right just, at the bottom. Yeah, I have no that. idea. But all of them were like that. All the dates were gone, so, you know, I don't all know. All the dates were gone. All, all of them. All the them. Like, all the Calendar was empty. <laughs> no idea what happened, you know. So yeah, I'm not sure where it just it must have been. Did you have do you have those uh and, and none of your carriers would do this, your clients, but do you have those ones where they're just praying for six months to go by as fast as possible? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got four more months. <laughs> just let me go by. Don't answer the phone till after six months, right? So Yeah, yeah. So, yeah.